you want to learn how to reset your skin or how to change your skin with your products, this is the video for you. Hey everybody, it's Lisa, owner of Peaches Skincare. You can visit us at peachesskincare.com where you will learn about our products that we make, small batched, um, concentrated products. What that means is you use very little because everything that we put in our bottle is pure and healthy food for your skin. You can also learn a little bit more about who we are and holistic skincare so that if you want to find your own esthetician, if you don't want to listen to me, you can do that and have some educated ideas about how to do that. You can also visit us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok to just learn a little bit more about us or see some other content that might be helpful or useful to you. And you are always welcome with love and kindness to leave a comment and I will reply and to lovingly ask people below their experience with me or with peaches. So I get these questions a lot and, and even if I've gone over it in a video, I like to go over it again and I want to welcome everyone new. Watch the whole video because it, I try to keep them short but you will have a plethora of information here. One of the things that I really try to tell people when they reach out to me and they say, um, I've been using a product, could be my product, could be another product, and at first my skin was doing great, or they may even say, my skin started to break out, or I had some irritation. And essentially what you have to understand is that your skin has been protecting itself since really you were a young child and especially your early 20s. So I want you to think of that as layers of saran wrap. It's the only thing I can think of. If you're one of my peaches outside the country, um, anything that you would cover food with, you know, I, I'd say layers of foil, but that doesn't make sense. Plastic wrap, cling wrap, just think of it as layers. A little education, my other peaches have heard this before, when we are born, we are born with normal skin, unless we have a very rare and significant issue where we can't sweat. Otherwise, we have beautiful, normal skin. And um, I have seen this with so many babies where they get irritations and the doctors say, do this, do that, or the moms panic. And all we do is put a little cornstarch on their skin, a little Vaseline brand petroleum jelly, um, castor oil, and their skin goes back to healthy. We all have normal skin. I want you to say that to yourself. You do not have sensitive skin. You do not have dry skin. You do not have combination skin. It's that when you were young, you started the process of damaging your skin because it was very unlikely that your mom put a wide brimmed hat on you or really healthy sunscreen. She may have even used something that wasn't good for you unknowingly. And then you start to grow up and you really are not taught how to cleanse your skin. And so your skin starts thickening. It starts trying to purge out at the same time, but the skin is thickening over those purging areas. Your pores are really hair follicles and they clean things out from the body. The body is constantly purging out impurities or things you've eaten or um, things that are not good for you. And then as teenagers, you'll hear me say it all the time, Boys are really not taught how to shave properly. They don't wear big hats either. Girls, same thing. Um, a lot of times they're using a lot of product in their hair and most especially bad skincare products, bad sunscreen and foundation and concealer. Foundation and concealer is so unhealthy for your skin. I want you, I wanna digress a minute. When you're listening to people giving you skincare advice, are they people that actually take care of skin? that actually heal skin without needles, procedures, or pills. I have done that for almost 40 years. And I think you have to be really aware of who you're listening to because they may be just talking to you about what they enjoy or what's good for their skin. So going back to how we damage it, we wear all these terrible things. I mean, if you really think of the concept of cleaning your skin, making it healthy and beautiful, and then applying cruddy sunscreen, right? or when you don't even need it in the house especially, or foundation and concealer, it makes no sense, no practical sense to your skin. So what happens is we do most of our damage by our early 20s, and this is actually documented in the Journal of Medicine. 
So let's say that you start peaches or you start another product and you're 28 or 30 or 40 or 60 and you already have some irritation because you're covering it up with foundation, you're covering it up with concealer, you're taking medicine, you're doing procedures to try to get rid of it, you're injecting yourself, but nothing's really working. The issue keeps coming back. Or you're being told that you have rosacea, eczema, psoriasis. I am not a doctor, but in my holistic beliefs and what I have seen practically, we all have natural fungus and bacteria always on our skin. And it is when we leave an opening for it that we have an issue. So you put foundation and concealer on or bad product or bad sunscreen. Maybe you even went and got waxed or you went and got uh, shaved by your esthetician. Dermaplaning is done in a medical office with a surgical blade and the patient is typically under because they're scraping away burn scars or severe scars. So what you're having done in your esthetician's office is really just shaving but they've left an opening for that bacteria or fungus that is always on our skin to activate. And yes, we have good uh, you know, bacteria and fungus as well. However, you're not affecting that when you exfoliate or cleanse properly, you're engaging it, you're helping it. And I do say this all the time, different floral, different fauna can affect that. Um, being in a different environment, the water in your home, if it's hot out, if it's cold out, all of those things affect your skin. So then you start using something that is good for your skin. And some of those problems get worse because they're finally coming out. We are removing that callus. Um, maybe they don't get worse. Maybe your skin just feels really soft, but a month later you have a breakout or you have a brown spot come up. This is normal. Maybe you even have some irritation or redness. Many times a lot of the products that you're using are really not wanting you to see the full ingredients list. They just really want you to see the good stuff, the fun stuff. But retail is always going to be watered down with color, water, um, professional would be from your master esthetician or your physician. And then medical grade is really only something your doctor writes a prescription for. So when you're using your products, if you're not seeing changes over six months or a year, there's something that you're doing. Maybe you're wearing foundation once a week to church. Maybe you're put foundation on for a going out to dinner because you felt so insecure about your skin, which I am trying so hard to teach all of you. I wear no foundation and concealer. I am 58 years old. I'm going to have good days and bad days, but I want you to know that this is real skin and that's what I want you to love about yourself, your real skin. So you're doing all of these things and you're expecting your products to work. When in fact, they're either really working, so let's say that you're using peaches, they are finally cleaning you out, but you're not allowing the process. You immediately panic. In fact, I have people, and some of you may say, oh, I'm one of those people, Lisa, that sent back product, blah, 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 blah. I'm not mad at you, I'm not upset with you get back up on the horse, order that product again, try and stick with it this time. What happens is about every 28 days, our skin starts to shift. So you've heard me say this about the body. It's kind of a rain barrel effect. All of this stuff gets put in our bodies. I think they say that women have over a thousand plus toxins that they put on their bodies all the time. Hair color, nails, nail polish, foundation, concealer, bad sunscreen, bad lotions, bad moisturizers, it, it, the list goes on and on. P perfume and fragrance, um, products that they use to clean their homes with. You know, I only use vinegar and water with some peppermint. I'm very aware of what we use in our home. But imagine your body takes all of this in and it can't take it anymore. And the rain barrel effect is where it just gets so full that it actually starts to get sick or it starts to create issues in your body. That is the same thing with your largest organ of the body, your skin. It can't take anymore. And so finally, everything just pushes up through the pores that are really hair follicles, and that becomes acne, blackheads, whiteheads, or you'll see active fungus, which can be very red. Um, it can be peely skin. You may even feel some tingling or burning. Now, to get rid of that, there are certain steps you have to do. So if you're a peach, 
let's say that you are having redness and it feels irritating and you go to spray your apple cider vinegar toner on and it stings a little bit, but then that goes away. That's normal. We have the most nerves in our face. It's also killing any bacteria and fungus. But then you would want to put on something like a Monistat 7. Um, hopefully John will show it to the side here. It's a very specific one. If you're outside the United States, um, a lot of you are finding through your pharmacist the right type of Monistat 7. And I will guide you with that. Email me, lisa at peachesskincare.com or info at peachesskincare.com. But my point is, we have you use Monistat morning and night for months and months. Don't stop it once you see the problem go away because there may still be a little bit left and we need to knock it out. Um, I may have you, if you're living in an environment where you feel like your skin is dry, so let's touch on that a bit. Dry skin, it's really just thick skin where nothing can get in, the skin's an oil-loving organ, and nothing can get out. The skin wants to produce a little bit of oil and also purge. If you feel like you're oily, you're not putting enough moisturizer on your skin. You're not putting enough oil on your skin. Again, skin is an oil-loving organ. Or you're using products with so much junk in them that they're just irritating your skin and your skin wants to purge everything out and so you think that you have oily skin. Sensitive skin, same thing. Countless times people will tell me they have sensitive skin and then I see the products they're using and I'm like, well, this is your problem and or foundation and concealer, which is always amazing to me that, that we don't understand, right? Not laughing at you, but really it makes sense, correct? That you think you have sensitive skin, but you're putting foundation and concealer on with color and chemicals. Once you get your skin reset, once you allow the process, you climb the hill, you trust me, this can be weeks, this can be months, you will come out the other side with healthy, beautiful skin that has come up from beneath and you will be amazed. I am an advocate of pro-aging, but yes, lines will look softer, uh, brown spots may come up and out, or they'll get to a point where we can really work with them more, uh, healing the melanocyte damage, uh, your skin will look smoother. And if some of you are peaches right now and you're struggling with a little something, look at the positives. Is your skin looking healthier where it's adhering to the muscle more and looking more refined? Is the tone of your skin looking better? Has someone that loves you said, wow, you're not wearing any foundation and concealer. This is amazing. So in closing, allow the process. When we lose weight, it can be a struggle. You go to the gym, you go for a walk, your muscles hurt like they've never hurt before. You think you've broken something because you never worked those muscles before, but you keep going and maybe a year later, you finally lose the 25 pounds. Um, you cut your hair and you wanna grow it out. It takes time. You go through that icky stage maybe, but it takes time to get your hair to where you want it to be. If you're some of my ladies who are losing their hair or my guys and you're putting the castor oil right on your scalp, it takes time to allow that process to happen. And that is the same with your skin. Resetting your skin bringing up healthy new tissue takes work, it takes patience, it takes consistency, but I can tell you it works every single time if you will allow me to help you. I hope that I've encouraged you. I hope this has given you a little bit of an idea about skincare and products. You know, I film these live, I try not to cut it, and I never want them to be too long to bore you. I appreciate each and every one of you being here. I hope you will like and subscribe and hit the bell for when my videos come out, typically Thursdays and Sundays. This Sunday, we have a really fun video coming out if we get it done. And I hope I have encouraged all of you to uncover your true confidence.